Good morning. Good morning. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And also with you. Uh, Pastor wanted us to go over the announcements. Um, the chili and oyster stew dinner is November 14th. Oh, and this is a new thing he wanted me to tell you about. Um, there's going to be a uh, Thanksgiving pie exchange on Sunday, November 21st after worship. Um, if you're interested, you can bring a pie on this day and after worship, take home a different pie. Um, if someone wants to participate but can't bake or bring a pie, um, just talk to Pastor Jamie and he'll make sure you have a pie to share at the exchange. So he just wants to try it out just as a fun new idea. And then the Vision and Purpose Gather giving this uh, month is for Jameson Center. Let us prepare our hearts with the prayer group.
Let us confess our sins in the presence of God and of one another. Have mercy on us, O God. We confess that we have sinned against you and against our neighbor. We have built walls and set tables and turned away the stranger. We have sought glory for ourselves and have treasured that which does not satisfy. Help us to love as you love, to welcome those you send, and to treasure mercy and justice. Turn us from our ways to your ways, and free us to serve those in need. Amen. God, who makes all things new, forgives your sins for Jesus' sake, and remembers them no more. Lift up your heads and your hearts. Yours is the kingdom of God. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Please take a moment to share the peace. Our opening hymn is All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Please sing with your people. <coughs>
sing our Kyrie, the Holy Spirit enter in. <laughs> Guide us. 
We too desire to be by your to be your servants. Strengthen us. We too long to know you clearly. Teach us, and in time, bring us to our ancestor, our eternal home of peace and joy. Amen. We will now sing verses four to five of "For All Your Saints." <coughs> Saw him, 
she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again, greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. church um, and so since we're not able to get past your sermon up I just thought since um, it's all Saints Sunday um, you know seeing a picture of Raymond is is just um, you know so nice and we remember everything that he did and not only him for our church but so many of the other saints I remember specifically you know my mom and dad and we sat in the back um, we had to because there were four of us and my two brothers would never behave um, and Dad would always fall asleep, but never mattered. He was uh, preaching, and Mom kept nudging him to wake up. But I also remember my grandparents who sat over there, and my aunt and uncle Dale and Carol Carlson, and, and they were all such good saints, and I just think of them. And when we um, sing the next song for all the saints, it's kind of a marching song, and I just see them up there in heaven just marching along, and I just have such fond memories. So I welcome anybody else who wants to come up and say something about their, you know, their family, their loved ones who have passed on. Thank you. Anybody else want to come? Um, well, thank you again, Janice. I'm sure Pastor Jamie will send out the video of his sermon. Sorry, I can get the word out. We'll now sing the hymn of the day. If you can stand, please stand for all the saints, verse, verses 1 through 4.
composing hymn for all the saints, verses 5 through 8. Go in peace to serve the glory. Thanks be to God.